Hi, I'm Darren Carden, and today I'm going to show you how to use the fire bow technique. So there's a couple pieces involved, and the first is the fire bow. And this is just uh, a stick, it's a live stick, I pulled it right, right off a tree. And you attach a rope to either end of it. So you've got something like this, and it's important to note that there's some give on the rope, it's not, it's not tight, you know second piece is a spindle and this needs to be a soft wood I found that pine works well although I'm sure there's some I'm sure there's better wood so if you look closely you'll see that uh, the spindle is very straight and the sides are different this side is fairly big and this side I've shaved down quite a bit and the reason for that is that this side is going to be the side that's uh, generating the friction. This side is is not going, we don't want this to generate any friction, so we're going to reduce the surface area, make it as small as possible, and this is going to help the spindle spin better. The next piece is the baseboard, and um, this also needs to be a softwood, very important. I also use pine for this, I'm sure there's better types available. And what you want to do is cut a little notch into the bottom of it. Okay. And we're just going to spin it. We're going to spin the spindle a couple times. And we're going to get an idea of where the... Um, where the spindle is going to spin. I mean, we have a little hole right now, but we need to get a better idea. So, okay, that's perfect. Now we know exactly where the spindle is going to be, and from here, we're going to cut, we're going to make a triangular cut in the wood for the dust to fall. As you can see we've got this groove for the spindle and over here we've got a triangular cut. So what's going to happen when you spin the spindle in this thing hot dust is going to be generated and that hot dust is going to fall in this hole and it's going to build up. And when I get enough of it, it's going to actually turn into an ember. And from there I can blow the ember into flames. So the last piece is the bearing block. And all this does is it's got a, it's got a little hole in it. And the spindle, the top of the spindle, goes here. And then you'll have the baseboard here and it just sits like this and it's going to spin. Okay, we got an ember.
There it is. So that's the fireboat technique. It took me quite a long time to figure that out. It wasn't easy, but keep trying and you'll figure it out.